you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving link mechanism and the question goes like this it says the crank in the figure rotates clockwise about o the link a b is attached to a rod c b which swings about c construct the locus of p if oa is 45 centimeter a b is 180 centimeter c b is 75 centimeter and b p is 90 centimeter scale one millimeter to what one centimeter so every one millimeter is one centimeter also right so it's the same thing to say working in what in millimeter so first of all, if you look at the figure that is displayed at the right-hand side of the screen, we have to reproduce the figure in order to draw the locus of P. So let's start. The first thing you do is to draw your horizontal line this way. And also, you draw your vertical line too. This way. So where they meet is a point. So we start from the crank. The crank OA was said to be what? OA is given to be 45 millimeter, right? So I'm going to take my meter rule and I'm going to measure 45 millimeter on my meter rule. So from 0 to 45 is what we have here. And I'll place it at this point here where they intersect. And I'm going to draw my what? My crank. So this is what? My crank. You can see that now the next thing that was we we're told to do here is that this is point O right and A is somewhere around the circumference here right so I'll just use one of this line right I'll just draw it here at an angle of what 60 so this is O A here now, it says from the center of this point here to the end, somewhere around here, is given to be what? 180. So I'm going to use my meter rule, starting from 19. 19 to 1 is 180. 0 to 18 is still 180. So I'm starting from 19, and I'm ending at what? At 1. So at that point, I'm going to draw a vertical line, right this way. At that point, I'll draw a vertical line this way, faint line, right? Now, on that line, I am going to measure a height of what? 105. So if I place it here, I'll measure a height of 105. From 0 to what? 105 is here. So this is where my point C is. At that point of 105 is my point what? My point C. So I'm going to draw a center line on that point this way. A long one, short, long, short as a center line. And we're told that CB is given to be what? 75 millimeter. Right? So I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to measure what? CB. Which is given as what 75 from 0 this is 75 here right and i'll place it on this point here as shown in diagram and i'm going to draw this arc this way from point c i'll draw an arc this way so cb falls along this arc here are we together now at any given distance from, we're not given that PB. We're not given that PB here is given to be 90 centimeter, which is 90 millimeter also. So my meter rule, I'm going to measure 90 millimeter, right? That is an AB, sorry. AB here is given to be 180, right? So it means that from here to here is 180. So the distance from these two points here, from
from here to this point here is 180 or you can measure it on your meter rule from here to here is 180 right so that means our cut here so where it cuts here that will be my point b right this will be my point b and i'm going to join uh this distance from here to this point and i'll thicken it from here straight down to this point all together from here straight down to that point this is my a right that is my b this is my o and we're told it is moving in an anti-clockwise manner that means it's going in this manner like this it is moving here that means this is we have successfully then remember one more thing that means here is connected to b this way can you see that it's connected to b this way so we are told that as this moves we still have a point also which is p and pb is what half of what half of 180 which is 90 so from 0 to 9 is given to be what my p here so we are told that uh let me take this down a little bit better now we are told that as this rotates in an um uh, as it rotates in a clockwise manner this way right this connecting rod moves in this manner along about point c now as it moves along about point c this p here change position also is that taken now so we want to look at the parts p is going to make or form when it when, when this move one computer evolution so first thing you do now this is the question that we have interpreted in the right hand side of the screen so the first thing we do we have to divide this into 12 equal parts right i can use my, com my continue with my uh, t square this way and my set square place it this way and i'll just draw this in this manner i'll turn it the other way around also i'll draw it in this manner i'll put it down this way and i'll draw it in this manner i'll turn it this way and i'll draw it in this manner right so once i have done or you can easily use your compass just like i showed in previous videos so what i've done here this is a this will be a1 this will be a2 this will be a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 a11 so I'm going to repeat this process at every given point here. So when I take my compass, remember this is 1 what? 180. Right? So from A, I'll go to what? A1. And I'll cut on this arc here. Where I cut here, this point, will be my B1. Then I will now take my ruler. And I'll join B1 to A1. Is that again? In this manner. So on that line, I'm going to measure 90. So if I place my compass here this way, from 0 to what? To 90. This is 90 here. So that will give us what? P1. Can you see that? Similarly, with the same... 180, place it at A2. I'm going to cut here. Right at that point there. That will be my B2. That's again. And I'm going to join A2 to B2 in this manner. And I'm going to measure 90 on that point. Right? This is 90 here. And that will give me what? My P2. Similarly, with the same 180, I'll place it here also. I'll mark at this manner. And that will be B3. 
Is that again? So I'll connect A3 to B3. So on that line, I'm going to measure 90. So this is 90 here. And this will be what? P3. Right? I'll come again from this point. From A4. I can even just start from here. From A4. I'm going to mark. I'll get what? B4. From A4. I'll have what is called what? B4. And I'm going to join A4 to B4. In this manner. So I'll mark 90. From 0 to 90. That will be what? My P4. Right? Similarly, from A5, I'll strike an arc that will give me what? B5. I'll join from A5 to B5. And I'll measure 90. On that point, that is half of the distance here. And this is what? P5. Right? Similarly, I'll come again. Take it up a little bit. I'll come again from A6. I'll check an arc on there. That'll give me what? B6. I'll join A6 to B6. Right, I'll take half of it, which is 90. So this is the 90 we have here. And this will be what? P6. I'll come again from A7. Stack an arc here. That'll give me what? B7. I'll join A7 to B7. Right, then on that arc on that line, I'll measure 90. So this will give me P7. Then, similarly, from A8, a second arc will give me B8. All together, so I'll join uh, A8 to B8. And I'm going to measure 90 on that line this way 0 to 90 to get what p8 from a9 second arc to what b9 I'll join from this point a9 to what? B9. Right? And I'll measure 90 from that point. 0 to here. This is 90 here. So give me P9. Right? Then from A10. Track an arc to give me B10. And I'm going to join A10 to B10. So I'll track an arc. This is 90 here. Right? So that will give me my what? My B10. At this point here. Then last but not the least, A11. I check an arc to get B11. Right? Then I'm going to join A11 to B11. Right? And that is what? 90.
this P11. So all these points here, we'll call it the locus of what? Of T. And I'm going to join it using my what? Using my French curve, right? So I'll use my French curve to connect all those points together. All the P points together, I'm going to connect them. Have here, right? This is what we have here in providing. So this is the locus of what? Of point P. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.